Hello, welcome to another edition of Northern Southerner Beer Reviews with your host, Jonathan Brown. And this time we're going down to Cornwall. We're going to go and see an old girl called Betty. There she is, boys and girls, lovely jubbly. Skinner's Betty Stocks at 4% ABV. Cush tea. And there is the Cornish flag. And there's the barcode, what goes bing. And there is a load of literature there, which I shall read to you, boys and girls out there. A bit like Jack and Ori, this, isn't it? Once upon a time and all that malarkey. Anyway, Betty Stoggs was a native of West Cornwall. She was unkept and lazy. Could never mend her stockings, couldn't knit or cook and liked to drop a veil. Sounds like a right old girl, this. Her child was taken from her by the small people. Must have come in the night. So, you know, he was taken off, so she wouldn't, yeah, she wouldn't know anyway. Uh, washed in the morning, dew and returned. So these kind of like small people turned out, sort of like Terry Pratchett novel, this, isn't it? Middle of the night, takes the kid, goes into the fields, rolls it around in the fields to wash it, then comes back with it, and turns her into a reformed character, sort of. Who the bloody hell, Cornish folklore that is, who the bloody hell make that up? Anyway, this beer has got North Down and Steering Goldings in. And there she is again. She's also, um, it is also Champion Beer of Britain in the best bitter category. Um, I don't know when that was. Can't remember. But when I went to Skinner's Brewery, I actually picked Betty's Titbits up. And they've got a guy who goes round. There he is. And there he is there, dressed as Betty doing stuff for charity and doing loads of um, kind of like um, stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy is only good if you're funny. If you're crap, people will let you know. So he must be good because he's been going around and doing it for a while. And um, yeah, and also I just thought I'd let you know, down near Truro where the brewery is, they actually own an alehouse in the Key Street in Truro. There you go. And it's in conjunction with... Um, the, the River Cottage, you know that guy, what's his name, You, what's his name, does a River Cottage um, cookery show. So there's all the starters and menus, pause it if you want boys and girls, lovely jubbly, there you are. I should get paid for that by Skinner's, plugging that. Anyway, let's crack her open, like you do. Oh, don't like the colour of that one, that's Pompey Blue that. So let's see what we get off the net. There's a hint of raisin there. And a hint of currant. And uh, not much else to be honest with you. So we'll um, pour out like you do. And as you can see, there, quite dark in colour. Also, off white head there, like a tanning head, to be honest with you. So, give her a swell. Yeah, it's very toffee like this. It's very nuggety toffee. It's quite. Um, also. hint of brown sugar there as well but it does feel like a toffee a toffee bomb Betty's like a toffee bomb so let's top her up like you do and look at the head I muck that up and I look at that carbonation there's hardly any carbonation at all little dribs and drabs bits and bobs there so dribs and drabs cheers everybody here we go. What well, hits first is very harsh in the bitterness. A um, little bit coiny, a bit metallic um, taste there. As for the caramel notes, they've, they've kind of like sort of disappeared like. Um, 
Oh, I had it, I had it, oh, I had it back in Cornwall. Um, it's, it's, it's very, I'll just have to go in again, to be honest, see if, it's, see if Betty will talk to me more. These earth, quite earthy. Um, you are getting that metallic corniness, which I'm not really coppery, should I say? Like it's, I'm not really a big fan of. Um, but you know, I think if if the more I drink of this beer, the more I would warm to it. I think it's one of them beers which will, which would grow on you more. Then um, the first initial taste. I'll just go in again. Do I get any? Hmm. A little bit of very. It's not. There's no sweetness there. It's very kind of like savoury in a way. Um, I think it's a, a beer which would grow on you. It would grow on me. Um, it is easy drinking, um, but like I say, the metallicness puts me off a slightly bit. So, um, all in all, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. So, boys and girls, Skinner's Betty Stoggs, give it a go. It's alright, it's alright, it really is. So, thanks for watching this one. Murder me in the comments. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers.